Prince Sports. All right, guys, what's up? Prince Sports here. Want to talk to you about none other than Giannis Antetokounmpo, okay? For the last three seasons, Giannis has arguably been the best player in the world that a lot of people pretty much don't talk about. Rather, it's the media talking about LeBron James consistently, or then they convert and talk about Kevin Durant, or sometimes they talk about Steph Curry, who should even be in the top five right now. But as you can see on this list that I dough up, I put him on this list because of the simple fact that a lot of people still talk about Steph Curry. But you look at a guy in Giannis Antetokounmpo. He outplayed Kevin Durant all season long this year. Kevin Durant is supposed to be one of the best players in the league. But Giannis outplayed him, not only in the regular season. Remember those classic matchups we was talking about? But he also got the best of them come playoff time, and he sent Kevin Durant home. At the end of the day, he still sent Kevin Durant home. And the other guys, um, the other guy that I would say closest to him is probably Kawhi Leonard, because Kawhi Leonard actually beat Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Giannis has not avenged that loss from Kawhi Leonard. He hasn't outplayed Kawhi Leonard yet, but he does have one thing on his side, health, and consistency something that Kawhi Leonard doesn't have on his side so you can make a case Giannis still been more spectacular than Kawhi all year long in that three-year span this guy has won all-star MVP defensive player of the year at finals MVP regular season MVP led his team to 60 plus wins twice okay he's arguably the best player and the most dominant player in the game today that nobody is really talking about and if he continues to go on his bench playing like this, I see no reason to why we can't sit there and call this man the best player in basketball. But yet, we continue to talk about the other players. We continue to talk about the Kevin Durant, the LeBron Jameses of the world. And we really start have to give Giannis his props, okay? Now, the only other guy to ever win those accolades like that, you know, in that short, consistent amount of time is none other than Michael Jeffrey Jordan. You know, the GOAT himself, you know, did stuff like that. Because Jordan won uh, a scoring title, Defensive Player of the Year, and MVP in one season. Giannis didn't get the scoring title, but he got Defensive Player and MVP in one season. You know, and that's remarkable within itself. And the way you look at it, Giannis is averaging, in the past three seasons, 28.4 points per game, 12 rebounds a game, and 5.8 assists. Now, there's a, lot, a couple of guys like LeBron, you know, um, that average more assists than Giannis. So, you know. But, all around the board, Giannis has been producing and playing at a higher level than LeBron James for the past three years. You know, even when LeBron won that championship with Anthony Davis, we were saying Anthony Davis was the best player on the team and was realistically the main reason why the Lakers were winning. So, we could make that case that Giannis is the best player in basketball. What do you think? Is Giannis the best player in basketball to you? Or do you still got KD? Because when these people are doing their votes, they're still pitting KD number one. So, my question to you, is this is Giannis and Takupo the best player in the NBA? Prince Sports out. Peace.